Hi, my name is Hanan Piatsky, and in this video I will teach you how to play the full version of Classical Gas arranged by Tommy Emmanuel as I perform it on my YouTube channel. The things that will be in this video. 1. I will go over the sections which are not covered by tab or by video tutorials on the internet. Secondly, I will discuss uh, some methods to improve your playing, like um, some exercises. And thirdly, I will go over the entire song, just so we get the bigger picture. So, as you know, the song starts with the lick. Whoa, not so fast! Alright, alright, I'll break it down. Okay, before showing you the lick, I will teach you some exercise which will prepare your fingers for the best performance. The exercise sounds like that. The job of your right hand is to pick the first string, then the job is done by your left hand, just pull-offs. So let's repeat. And then your right hand picks the second string and your finger, index finger, pulls the first. Now I show it slowly. Once you master this pattern, um, you are ready to learn the whole lick, since it's just a repetition of this pattern. This lick should be studied with a metronome, but first let me show you its details. So it starts with a pinky on the 8th fret. As you see, just pull-offs, okay? Again. And then the pattern which you already recognize. Then we proceed higher on the strings. Again, pull-offs. 7th fret on the 3rd string. You see, same pattern as this one. show you the whole lick slow again. Okay, I like to set my metronome for about 100 BPM and I'll show you how to play with it. Here we go. So, two notes per one beat. I think it's very good for a start. Then you can play around with your tempo with the beats and until you just master the whole lick. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the continuation of the introduction after we play this lick. just like in the song itself. Then...
tempo here is up to your choice. I like to play something like And then the song itself starts to... Since the purpose of this tutorial is to show parts which are not yet covered on any other YouTube channel or tab section on the internet, I will proceed straight forward to this part. Alright, now I'll play it slowly and detailed. Okay. A minor chord. Note how the bass will go all the way. You see, it's the part with the A minor chord. We change the bass. Change again. Okay? Then it's crazy Tommy Emanuel chord that may be played like this or like this and then you see the bass just going backwards. Next chord. Now let's connect it from this chord. So in tempo it will sound sound like this. Slowly. It's the next time. Then Tommy plays these two chords. And he plays them like... All you must know is that they cover four bars of four quarters. So you play four bars in this tempo, for example. Now with a metronome. Around, uh, I use around 90 beats per minute.
part, the most important thing is to keep your bass going. Now I play it with a metronome after I show you the chords and I will do it slowly. The first chord with the B bass. And then Then and then the crazy Tommy manual chord. Now I play it in, in slow tempo. Let's go. And then the familiar part with... As you see, I've switched my guitars. And now I, I will show you a trick that might promote your playing of classical gas. So what's the trick? The nut width of the guitar, of a classical guitar, is much bigger than on an acoustic. So it will be much harder to play a classical gas. But once you may play the most of it on a classical guitar, the play on an acoustic will be so easy. Okay. Well, not so easy because it's Tommy Emanuel, but much easier. So when I play these chords... You see, my purpose is just to keep them as clean as possible. Then I will develop the stretching and the extension of the thumb and even eventually one day I will be able to play this almost there. After playing like that it will be much easier to play on an acoustic. Right. So basically I've shown you all the parts I needed to show and now I'll share with you some really good exercise for your hands to keep the sinews the muscles, ligaments, tendons, safe from overworking. It's called the cat style. There is an art called mudra yoga and it's yoga of the hands. So let's see. It's mudra yoga, the cat's style. First exercise. Imagine a cat that gets up in the morning and stretches so nicely. You see, I stretch my fingers. Now the pinky goes as far as possible from the thumb. And then another one. Index finger goes up. And the last one, these two go here. Great exercise. Really good. Okay. So let's get started. Now I show the song in its entirety, briefly of course, since there are a lot of tabs and tutorials which cover all the other parts I haven't shown.
Now I'll focus on this part. Okay. So, after this one. percussion it's not the same as the original done by Tommy but I like this way and the same part over again and then you you reach this step again and then you play part that goes until and this is the last time you play the exact part as I showed already and when you reach this stage you play See, you see the difference again. same part again, okay? You may add this one instead of playing You may play Again, you play until you reach the um, instead of bending the neck, it is quite dangerous for your guitar. You might play the percussion again. 
It's the last time you play this section. You play again. And then you reach the ending chords which Tommy employs. These are the chords. The same pattern just advances along the neck. So. And now you reach the ending part where Tom employs these chords. Okay, so in tempo it will sound like this, in a moderate tempo. This is it. If you found this tutorial helpful, please hit the like button, comment and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. See you!